got this. Yeah. Ah. It's Horror Trivia Night at Rue Morgue Magazine. Who directed Satan's Rhapsody, 1917? This group of women loves a scary movie, especially one with a strong female lead. There's a movie that a lot of people hate. But I love it. It's Alien vs. Predator because (gasps) Sanaa Lathan Mm -hmm. is the final girl in that movie and I love her because she's my girl crush. I'm going to say mine now because (laughs) otherwise somebody else is going to take it. And it's Ripley from Alien. (laughs) They're not alone. According to industry analysts, Box Office Pro, slightly more women than men actually watch horror. I think women have a very intimate relationship with fear and seeing it depicted on screen can be very cathartic and comforting. But for all the women watching horror, there have been very few women making it until recently. People see people like me and Jen talking about horror movies and they're like... Canadian twins Jen and Sylvia Soska are at the forefront. Whoa, it's only women being murdered in this movie? No, 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 we gotta change this. We have to make sure everybody gets murdered. Now they're remaking Rabid, an early film of their idol David Cronenberg about a woman turned into a vampire by an experimental surgery. The basic storyline is the same, but it's told from a distinctly female perspective. You know when you're walking down the street just as a woman minding your business and some guy starts following you and saying things to pick you up and then when you ignore him because perhaps he's being rude and vulgar then he says he's going to kill, murder and rape you, etc, etc. That scene is in our movie and that person gets what's coming to them and it's so enjoyable. What are you doing here? Horror films made by men tend to feature female nudity. In the female-made horror, male bodies are more often on display. It's just a book. Movies like The Babadook tackle taboo themes like women's ambivalence about motherhood. Have you ever heard of body modification? And Soska Sister's own American Mary features a lot of female rage. Stop, please, please. One thing that hasn't changed, these films are still scary, often gory, and don't always portray women as morally pure. Can we go now? We're not through yet. Mary Heron, veteran Canadian director of American Psycho, gave the Soska sisters notes on their rough cut. Well, I think horror is still a kind of last frontier, you know, and, and for women. And I think people would prefer if you, you know, a woman director that you do um, films about women who are either heroic or, or victims, you know, so, you know, straightforwardly sympathetic. But I've always been fascinated by people who are a little more complicated and culpable. Hi. Okay, so the right hey. to fright as these women continue to fight for equality in front of the camera and behind the scenes. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.